Welcome back to Gamer Pie. Today we are playing Soul Calibur 6. I'm Jess. This is Ned. This is Zach. And uh, we're going to play Lever of Souls. This is where you have a story mode through your, like, your OC. And uh, what yeah. race should we be? Uh, we'll go to New Game. Okay. That's fair. We, <laughs> we should probably start the game before we race. The ray of light from the evil. We just want to like skip through the opening. Yeah, you can skip through it. It's think, uh, It's just like the the Soul Calibur story. Yeah, it's a solemn LC. Some shit like, oh, I better summon an OC. Are <laughs> you fucking summon? Yeah, like you go through, you come through a portal. So go to. Uh, and our backstory would be we we're, were summoned right before we we're just wiped out by a nuclear blast. So, so go to where it says human male. Change your. So here's your six races. You got human, outcast, which are like bunny people, lost soul, which are angels, lizard man. It seems man. like a lot more races than six. Yeah, lizard man, mummy, automaton, which are like doll, mechanical people, shapeshifter, colossus, <laughs> fully tra malfested, fully transformed, mutated, and a regular, revenant, skeleton, dark sider, lost soul, horned. Malphic, which are just fucking orcs, and Hidden Village Clans, which are elves. So the orc, you know how that, <laughs> when you put an orc and an elf together, you know how that I know. turns out. I w if we really wanted to, we can make the whole fucking party for uh, for Goblin Slayer. We yeah. have the fucking Lizard Man, we have the elf. The only thing... We have to, we would have to make a dwarf. Can you make a short dude? Probably. Yeah, you could probably, but, but also, like, you can't put a lot of clothes on the Lizard Man. They're mostly naked. Oh, yeah. I want to give him the full like shaman Native American yeah, headdress. I, th I think you can give him the headdress though. Okay, but I want to put him in a robe too. Yeah. Hopefully that uh, filter is doing good. <laughs> well, how about we pause here and then we'll come back once we have a character. Okay. All right. And we're back. So are we skipping this too? Yeah. Yep. So pretty much. Quick backstory. Um, Nightmare lets out this giant wave of evil, and it starts affecting people. And um, you're one of the affected. Uh, you're succumbing to the darkness, but if you find these um, energy points, uh, you can you can use them to kind of strengthen your soul and keep that uh, that evil at bay. Okay. Who are we? People. I mean the character. Yeah. So I was gonna try. The thing I don't like about this is you can't like completely design your character before you like go. You have to like do the basics and then you can give it the costume. But uh, I was trying to do I guess from. I think press option to see if you can. From uh, from Persona Three. What? Um, or for people that only play the fighting games, Persona Four Arena. Don't ask anything. I just want to mention that I'm happy they brought back Joss Solomel. Because yeah, I was so pissed that he wasn't in 5. Uh, yeah, I really like Joss Solomel too. Timing? Not even his style. Uh, creation. I believe you should now be able to, to put armor on her. And we're not back. <laughs> and we're back. Alright, so we have clothing on our character now what do we do <laughs> i don't think I, I, well, I believe we actually have the opposite <laughs> let's uh our character looks more like the character okay so exit out, out of this little mini menu okay so astro fisher okay. start match okay so this is what i was talking about um you've just found one of the cracks that like you're gonna pretty much steal the energy um, so you don't die. Okay, fair enough. So they'll put you in another Persona dancing game as you die. Aren't those supposed to be pretty good, though? Yeah, yeah that's pretty fun. The first one, because I have the, the Vita one. Hatsune Miku's in one of them. Oh, oh. Yeah, 
Der. Now, defeat this jobber. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but I like it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Aswell's spotting style is fucking amazing. It's cool. It, for me, the only thing I don't like about it is that it has a weird rhythm. Like, for the combos, for me, the rhythm's a little bit weird. But huh. what it does have is just in hit back, back, kind of. Oh. You have a spear of longiness. He has a spear of longiness. The spear of that dude just got fucked in the face. Yeah. No, but that that move I'm trying to, to get you to use, cool hold it. He can throw it from across the screen. Oh my god, it's bullshit. I love it. Aswell also has a Kaniku Buster as a finisher. So here's something BS about the money. You don't, you don't actually, you, you can't buy parts with that. Yeah. It's bullshit it gold. Yeah, I, I thought well, when I saw it, I was like, okay, five hundred gold. I can use this towards parts. No, you can't. You have to get soul points, but later on, uh, you can reach a certain point in the story where you can. Tra uh, you could uh, trade in uh, gold for soul points. Okay, then it's not that bad. I haven't gotten that far. I, I think I'm only like two or So, what else do you buy the gold with? Buy with the gold? Uh, items like food and stuff, the, like the attach to your character for matches, okay. give them a little stat boost. But it's like, I could. Fuck that. I just want to buy more creative character parts. And apparently. Uh... So, this is a. What, what do you call it? Um... I think gold is evil and azure is. Is good. It's, um. Uh, what is it called? Soul Calibur and Soul Edge. Well, no, it's like it's good and evil. Yeah. And so you get. It's just introducing you to the. the uh, I guess karma system. Which I, I don't know exactly what that does because, again, I'm only like a few. Um, uh, a few missions in. When you. Kama, 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 it's yeah. Maxi. When you progress more. In, apparently, when you progress more in Libra of Souls, you can unlock more parts. And I need to do that. I, I don't have any. I, I don't have the DLC, so I don't have any like the extra um, um, armor parts. And the one that comes so in the base is, game. So there is there is parts in this game that some more parts that you can get that's on base. Yeah, but uh, get the DLC so you can get like Tiro's parts and stuff. Yeah. Have you have you gotten all the unlockable parts yet? Or? Uh, not yet. It's been a while since I was playing the game, so I might, I'll try and get back into it. But see, John also lent me Spider-Man, and that's sitting around like, I need to play Spider-Man too. And I still need to go through Fist of the North Star. Yeah, because the, because the, the time you set, set aside to play it, Miguel just came in and was like, nope, I'm going to play this instead. <laughs> and then send up, and then stay up till fucking 6 o'clock in the morning. The new new game plus. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Spider-Man, you said you had a um, Stanley thing you wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, you know, I made a post on social media about Stanley, and I posted a photo of me back when I was more morbidly obese. You know, I got to meet Stanley. But in the thread, we, were, you know, me and a bunch of people were posting a bunch of Stanley clips. So, like, you know, here's my favorite Stanley cameo, Ball Rats. Then I found my favorite Stanley clip. I don't know where this is from. Like, it may be, maybe it was sent for Levi's, but it was a video with Stan Lee, Todd McFarlane, and Rob Liefeld. And I guess they come up with a character, like the most generic 90s edgelord character named Overkill. And so Todd and Rob are, like, designing And the whole video is just Stan Lee roasting the shit out of Rob Liefeld and Todd McFarlane. He's just shitting on them. Saying, like, like just how terrible fucking Overkill looks. How he can barely move because just structurally he looks terrible. Because he's more pouched than man. Right, he's which is like a huge massive swole torso that doesn't look like it has any movement. Tiny, tiny ass feet. He's telling like you may want to add some more ankle bone to him. Like, <laughs> like he just and it's just every moment he's just shitting on them. It's fantastic. Just, just look up the video of Stan Lee. With uh, Rob Liefeld and Todd McFarlane. Send that to me later and we'll, we'll, we'll uh, link it in the description. 
Oh my god, that walk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like backwards, reverse inverted crab walk. You know, Rob Liefeld has become self aware. Like, he, he, he rips on himself. Like, he designed a, a character called the Pouch, which is just a giant pouch man with, with, with a pouch gun. And giant packs. Yeah. <laughs> Made of pouches. Yeah. And, and he's aware of Liefeld syndrome and is, was like, a Liefeld feet syndrome is like pointing, uh, pointing out like that it was contagious and like pointing out other, other artists that do it. I can't remember exactly what he what he called it, but it... Well, they even made a joke about that in Deadpool too, yeah. where he's ripping on uh, Domino's whole gimmick of like, oh, I'm lucky. It's like that sounds like it was written like, by. Not, it was like that's not a superpower. That sounds like it was it was written by a a hack that can't draw feet. Yeah. <laughs> so Ryan Reynolds is Pikachu. Yes. Yes. Should have been Danny DeVito. I'm sorry. I will not let that go. If, if not Danny DeVito, maybe Christopher Walken. I mean, if you can't have... Yeah, we don't have Danny DeVito or Pikachu, but we have fucking Pika Pool. We have Pika Pool. It's just in the game, Detective Pikachu has a New York accent, so I just... And look, I just want to hear fucking Pikachu be like, Sorry, that's the condom I use for my Magnum Dong. But the movie looks good. Like, it actually looked way better than I thought it would be. Because when you told me, oh, when I heard live-action Detective Pikachu movie, like, oh, that's going to be fucking trash. And then the trailer actually looks surprisingly fun. And, you know, even though, again, like, I want Dan DeVito, Ryan Reynolds actually looks like he'll be fine for the role. Yeah. Well, the thing about Ryan Reynolds is that it looks like he doesn't give a fuck. He's just, like, there to have fun. Yeah. Not, not the same way that, like, Harry Cruz is there to have fun, but in a fuck you, I'm gonna get mine fun. Well, also you get to hear Pikachu say "shove it." <laughs> <laughs> Although, so some of those live-action Pokemon are fucking terrifying. Oh god, yeah. Mr. Mine wasn't that bad. Psyduck's pretty fucking terrifying. Now people are complaining. Oh, I don't like how fuzzy Jigglypuff looks. Did you just want a a mass of pink flesh? <laughs> Cause that would be more terrifying. I'd yeah. rather have Fuzzy Jigglypuff. Yeah, Fuzzy Jigglypuff's fine. It, d it does look a little weird, but I mean... <coughs> How else are you gonna fucking translate that shit into... Are you okay? Yeah. Alright. We might have to set your cats on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you just got a new weapon. Yay. How do I... Do I need uh, to equip it? Yes, triangle. Uh, yeah. Uh, Aspirations and Tribulations. <coughs> and it happens to be another as well weapon. Well, because I think you just unlock whatever you have. But I think that first one is a as that first so, one you unlock is a as well. So go back to Aspirations and Tribulations. Or is it lower? It's down one. That one. Oh, okay, yeah. So, wait, what? Did I do it? Wait, what the fuck? How do you have two? Because you have. You have aspirations and tribulations and joy and despair. Because I think you, those are all the other like base. If you want to switch your style to any of the other existing characters, right? No, but aspirations and tribulation and joy and despair are both as well weapons. Yeah, because they can locked an as well weapon. He locked an additional as well weapon. No. Oh. They're both the same. So, what what looks cooler? Uh, I assume they no, well they both look the same. I'm pretty sure it's just colors. I'll, I'll probably clean up a bit after. I don't, I don't need you dying or bursting into flames. Oh, anyway, back to Marvel. Uh, I w I had this random train of thought uh, jump uh, like a few days ago while I was working. I was just bored. Let me let me lead you on this train of train of thought. All aboard! Woo, woo. So, start off on uh, Spider Verse, specifically um, the uh, the new movie that's coming out. It's and, awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, and I, I thought I was you know I was disappointed over how uh, Penny Parker is not getting her uh, her mech from the comics. But the trade off is that they made her design way more Anabu. Which I get it. I still don't know. But um, 
Because I, I was thinking, you were saying that, um, for oh, the God. reason why they didn't give her her mech from, uh... Fuck you and the horse you rode Be in on. Because it's probably a Evangelion lawsuit. Yeah, because yeah, it, yeah, that, that it's, yeah, even uh, Evangelion. And that led me to think how, uh, I was like, it, it really doesn't look like a, like an Ava, but you can kind of tell where they took inspiration Especially with the posture and like the, the the elongated arms and legs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then that led me to think how they referenced Ava directly by um, by having the kids from Shin Evangelion. Yeah, yeah, Shinji, Karu, Asuka, and Rei show up. Yeah, in um in the comic. Well, also Kaneda from Akira, and then uh, Matoko and Bato from Ghost in the Shell show up in there too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. So, this is where things get weird, in my train of thought jumps. So, Marvel is an infinite universe. Into infinite multiverse. So, which means if the characters from Evangelion are in that universe, but not the characters from... They're not, they're not mech uh, pilots. Right, they're not even pilots. Yeah. Because... Infinite multiverse. It means that in the Marvel universe, there must exist one of the one of the universes is the Ava universe. Is the Ava universe well, now? The Ava universe is connected to Gainax, and we know this because in uh, Tengen Topan Gurren Lagann, there's an episode that shows a bunch of different Gainax characters, including um, uh, the the girls from Evangelion. And then Gunbuster, but those could all just be animation cameos. They do stuff like that. Don't ruin the stream because after I thought of that, I thought, "Holy shit!" Now I want an, a canon fight between Guren Lagan and Leo Paldon. Well, that's unfair because Guren Lagan cheats. <laughs> yeah, it has. Does it doesn't have like a fucking universe? Not that one. One. That's Tengo Top on yeah. Gurren Lagann. That's a different form. Screw that. Just just give me Leopold on with Gunbuster. That's more appealing to me. What's Gunbuster? There's Gynax's first uh, major OVA series. Because their first movie was uh, Wings of Hamanes, which bombed. And then Gunbuster was like one of the first things Anno did. So, we just finished the chapter. Uh... I think that's a good place to end. Anyone got any closing thoughts? No, like I said, I just really want to see a a, a canon official Good and Lock on versus um, Leo Paldon. Okay, what if what what if I raise you a a medieval like canon with just them fighting painted on the side of it? <laughs> that works as well. Okay, that was Gamer Five. <laughs>